to more stories now staying with the house of representatives the opposition people's democratic party pdp lawmakers of the house of representatives have called for the rejection of state policing the chairman of the house of representatives committee on petroleum downstream honorable ikenga ugo chiniri during a press briefing today in abuja with House of Representatives press corps members said state policing will cause anarchy where state governments will use security personnel for their personal vendetta. They said they have uh, override the, uh, the, the assent of the governor and have vetoed and passed the reforms, the local government reforms. It's unacceptable to us in the opposition. Actually, what is happening in reverse right now is people are trying to lay the foundation for political crisis and violence that will engulf that state. There is no basis for one to justify that local government chairman that their tenure is about to expire in a matter of weeks, that you cannot make a law that will extend their tenure. Such tenure extension is something that can lead to anarchy, is unacceptable and cannot be enforced. And also to go further to also make uh, changes to the local government uh, 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 a commission is also unacceptable and that is why we called you here today to make it clear that purporting to override the governor's veto without sending the law to the governor is a recipe for chaos. Builder described the move as legislative rascality and a coup against democracy with a call on President Bola Chinubu to call party members in the River State House of Assembly to order. and their money was going directly to them. Would there have been need for Bandit to take the forest without the local government chairman handling it? All these insecurities and all this economic problem, the markets that have been born, the markets that are not functioning, local government would have fixed it. Those communities that don't have water, local government would have fixed it. Those teachers in primary school that were not being paid, local government would have fixed it. Those teachers that are no longer training our children who are turning into Bandit would have been functioning if local government was also functioning. So everybody would agree that the reason why they are disconnecting governance today is that the rural system of administration has been captured by a group of people that we elected as governors. And that has thrown Nigeria into economic crisis, into security crisis, and into a sort of crisis. So if they are honest and serious, the first thing that needs to be done is for these governors to support the ongoing amendment we are bringing to the constitution to allow local government to be democratically elected, to be autonomous, and receive their money fully. The state is supposed to be sending money to the local government as a support. So if these men cannot be trusted to allow another arm of government to function, are you going to trust these men with police force of their own? Have you seen what some of them have done with the federal police? The way they change uh, inspector general, uh, sorry, commissioners of police who do not do their bidding, the way they carry armored personnel carriers during the election to arrest their opponents, the same way they charge people for, for, for terrorism charges left, right and center. Honorable Ikenga Ugo Chinyere also calls on the Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, to immediately conduct the by-election for the replacement of the lawmakers who defected from PDP to APC in breach of the Electoral Act in the Nigeria Constitution. <laughs> 